tell us about the project in general. Did you decide as a collective group to do this? And then there was a certain continuity in what you had in each um, individual's piece. Uh, tell us more about just how you guys decided to do this. Well, we were all given the project to like look at a piece of our work like throughout the museum and just find one that kind of like spoke out to us that we would be interested in and to like research throughout the couple months we were here. And um, we did that just by like with our object studies and just walking through the museum. We were able to uh, just pick one out that really appealed to us and uh, research it. Um, I'm curious as, as a group, you're each individually artists, but as a group, how being with each other influenced in um, what you thought and and um, what your end product was? Um, in my opinion, really, um, I think a lot of us had inspiration from each other. I mean, I'm not really speaking for everyone, but for me, personally, I talked to a lot of the interns, and some of them gave me their opinions about my piece, and that kind of opened my eyes a lot more to the piece, because sometimes simplicity isn't like really standing out to me, but hearing other people's opinions can really change your view on things. So, yeah, I think that is a major point. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Um, my name is Amy, and I, I met you earlier in the, the program, and you know my job at the museum is to hire docents uh, who give tours, and I have to say you did an incredible job. I would love to hire you all, because you did really a fantastic job. And, but my question is, when you think now about, you think of your first day in the program, and you think of now where you are, was there something that surprised you about what you learned or what you did in the program? Um, well, I would say that one of the main things that I learned from this program is that art can be something that you do as a group and not just individually. Um, I came into, like, my first day here, I, you know, I always, I've always loved looking at art and everything like that, but I never really shared a piece of artwork with other people. And by the end of this program, like, I prefer now to sit with a group of people and discuss a work of art than to just look at it on my own. So that's something that I've learned here. <laughs> because I'm, I started a little later than most of the uh, teens here, so what really surprised me was how much I changed in so little time compared to the other teens. Because the art museum, like, um, they give us so much, um, so many things to work with, and like, the fact that we can react to a piece of art is, it's like, it's just amazing because you know, we have such this big imagination, and the fact that we get to share with other people as well is the, the second, the uh, other amazing part. I guess, could you explain to the audience, your friends, your family here, kind of your process from the technology side? How did you put your video together? What went into that? Your thoughts as you were shooting your video and, and, and kind of grabbing those technology pieces together? Well, first we had to like research about our piece, and then it was really awkward for me, and I think I've grown the most because like, I used to stop recording my videos just because somebody walked in the room when I was recording. So I would be like really nervous and I'd be like, oh, somebody's in here, turn off the iPad. I found it kind of difficult uh, going by the script because we all had um, a voiceover script that we had to go by and record our voices with the iPad. Um, I just found it easier just um, saying it as I just, you know, saw the video that I recorded earlier. Um, <laughs> but yeah. It's, the editing part was easy, <laughs> but kind of awkward at the same time because you're hearing your own voice and like recorded and you're just like not used to that type of stuff, so yeah. <laughs> if any of you or some of you are going to pursue art and how this experience has changed your future outlook for a career. This made me want to do graphic design because I like art everywhere, a lot of art. So we had to give tours. And I found out that I really like to work with children and art at the same time. So I would like pursue art education for elementary students. I kind of wanted to do filmmaking uh, while I'm in college. And this helped me uh, kind of get into the filmmaking and stuff. And it's like something I really like doing. <coughs> um, well, after this program, I think I would like to do something that Chelsea does um, because like she, I mean, 
Uh, I would like to introduce art to other people in the community and how to make it important into their lives and not only that, but how they can make it relevant to the community, so yeah. After this program, um, I just, I've decided, I'm, the plan right now <laughs> would, I guess, would be to, um, to become a curator at, an, at a museum somewhere, maybe here, who knows. Um, <laughs> But because uh, I think it's really interesting how you can take uh, different works from different artists that mean different things, but somehow put them together um, to make an amazing show and help to communicate the ideas that they're trying, the artists are trying to communicate. <laughs> I definitely want to pursue a career in the art field. Um, and I just recently uh, found out that I'm really good at painting through my, uh, the artwork that I researched. So that's another talent that I could use to like sell some stuff. <laughs> Can someone give me their, uh, or multiple people, give me your thoughts on the artwork that you see here in the museum versus the art that you see out in public on billboards or on commercials or in magazines? Well, personally, I really see no difference between the quality of the art here and the quality that is outside of the art, like on the public billboards or whatever, because I feel that each individual piece of art was made specifically to portray or kind of communicate a certain message. And I feel like the quality of the artwork here shouldn't really, like, take away from the quality of the artwork that is out there because it, in a sense, all artwork is equal, and as long as there's somebody out there to actually appreciate that artwork and understand it and kind of like implement it into their own meaning and kind of like emulate their feelings with that artwork, then it's done its job as being a successful piece of art regardless of where it is. So I was, uh just curious, I saw in one of the, uh, the presentations where someone talked about their own style of art. Um, I was just curious how, for the pieces that you guys picked, how close was that to the style of art that you guys um, uh, present today or, or that you do today? Well, t to be honest, um, comparing my art to the art that I uh, reacted to it was a really big difference because when I grew up I always thought that art was supposed to be like popping out and like you're supposed to see something but the one that I reacted to it was just three canvases with, with three colors and I was like um, how is this art and so um, it kind of made me question like what is and isn't really art because some people say oh it's supposed to you know have like pictures and people in it but others are like but it should have a statement and you know these blank images can say something even without saying something so you know it made me think do i really have to add things to my pieces to make them say something so yeah If you had to tell your friends or some other students that were interested in being a part of this program, what would you tell them about the program? What would you, um, they were asking about it, they were curious about it. How would you get them excited about, about joining a program like this? Well, I do this a lot actually because my teacher, she's also like really good at advocating for the Milwaukee Art Museum. Um, I, I like usually, they would ask me like, what do you do there? And I'm like, well, I mean, we talk about art and we understand art, we get close to each other and understand each other as teens as well as artists and also um, we get to enjoy like free you know uh, tours of the art museum and we get to get close to people we don't know like artists and uh, that we like react to and we get to open our minds and open our hearts to different pieces and we get to grow as people and as artists so if you want to just like have a very interesting and intriguing experience, the satellite program would be great because teens are growing. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys find what art you liked? Well, first we got, um, well, no, we didn't have a list. We had a paper where we had to go 
through like the whole art museum and we got to pick a few pieces that we wanted but we couldn't do them if they were copyrighted. So if they weren't copyrighted, you picked whichever one you like and then you just did um, object studies off of it. And that was it. Well, when I looked um, um, for a piece to research in the um, art museum, I really didn't find um, an art piece that really, you know, caught my eye because most of them are like very, uh, I don't want to say old, <laughs> but very kind of like the same like realistic um, historical style to it and I really like vibrant um, designs and stuff. So when I was just looking around, I, j I came across the um, flowers in a terracotta vase piece and I just like really, I don't know, it just blew my mind because it looks so real and it's just beautiful. Yeah. That's just caught my eye. <laughs> but uh, I just want to thank you guys again. Thank you all and let's give another big round of applause to our <laughs>